Hi, I'm Salma Jafri, and you're watching Content Marketing Tips. Welcome to the show. I remember when I wanted to build my first website years ago, I had absolutely no idea of what to do, where to go, or how to start. And I'm slightly embarrassed to admit this, but it took me nearly three months to build my first website. I mean, that's crazy, considering that you can build one today in just minutes. That's right, just a few minutes, that's all it takes. And you don't even need to be a techie or need to know how to code to build your first website. I mean, I certainly don't know how to code even today, and I'm able to do it. And I really want today to be about teaching you how to get your first website online. Because let's face it, if you are a business, whether you're online or you're offline, you need an online presence. You need to have your own site up on the internet where people can recognize your brand and know that you are legitimate. And so you need to have your first website and you can build it yourself. And we all know that social networks and having a presence on social networks is all great, but you do not own those social networks, right? You don't own them, you don't have control over them. But a website is something that you do have control over. It is your home on the internet and it is an asset. So today we're going to build a website using WordPress and a hosting service called Bluehost. And I wanna show you step-by-step -step how to do that. So are you ready to start to build your home on the internet? I hope so, let's get to it. All right, so to start, go to salmajafri.com slash resources, which is my resources page on my website. And I want you to scroll down to the website section. And there you're gonna see some uh, websites that we're gonna use to develop this. Um, Bluehost is going to be our hosting server and Namecheap is going to be where we registered the domain. So go ahead and click on Namecheap. And here we go. So in Namecheap, you wanna type in the domain that you want to buy. So in this case, I am buying lisamedia.com and I type that in and hit search. And now it's gonna tell me whether this domain is available to buy or not. So it's gonna do a quick search. And yes, good news, this domain is available and it costs just $10.69 for the entire year to buy. So that's really, really great. So I'm gonna go ahead and view cart. And what that's gonna do is gonna bring up, um, you know, a free Who is Guard subscription, which maintains privacy so people can see registration details such as your email or your website. Okay, so now before I click confirm for this particular order, what I wanna do is find a promo code that I can use to bring down the price a little bit more. So I'm gonna to go to Retail Me Not, uh, name cheap coupon, type that in in Google search results. And the first result is actually what I'm looking for. It takes me to the Retail Me Not website, which has all sorts of coupons. And the first one has a 20% off deal. So I'm gonna go click that and show coupon and says, here's the one outdoors. So I copy that, go back to my Namecheap page and put in the promo code outdoors and hit apply. And it basically brings the price down from 10.87 to $9.84. The coupon code was successfully applied. And so, you know, it just knocks off a few dollars and it's really, you know, worth it to do that. Uh, so then I'm gonna go and confirm the order and um, I'm gonna pay via credit card. So you can just add in your credit card details, you know, just your number, your title of your credit card, your expiration date, any other details that they ask for. Um, so I already have a card saved here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click the terms and agreements and pay now. And it processes my order pretty quickly, it's like really instantaneous. And uh, I'm in, I've purchased the domain and that's really the first step. So I am now the owner of alisamedia.com and my purchase summary is there. So next I'm gonna go to my manage domains tab 
and I can see here that Elisa Media is the domain I have bought. Nice. So I click on that and I fill out the registration information and then I hit transfer DNS to web host. So this is the page that I am going to need to put in the hosting information. And so we don't have the hosting information right now. And that's where Bluehost comes in. So essentially what I'm going to do is go back to my resources page and on, on the website section, click Bluehost, which is going to take me to the Bluehost website. And I just, you know, want to buy a, a hosting plan. So I click get started now and I'm going to choose the most popular one, which is six dollars 95 cents per month which is actually going to give me access to multiple websites unlimited bandwidth unlimited uh, web space which is actually a really really good deal and I would encourage you to choose this option so I hit select and then I have a domain name I just type that in and go next now since I'm already a Bluehost customer so I'm just going to log in with my account but you will need to con go through the purchase and everything and once you have completed the purchase, then you can just simply go and log into your account. And once you are logged in, you want to transfer the domain that you've bought to this hosting. So you go to domain and uh, then the next thing you click under domain is assign. And over here in step one, you enter the domain alisamedia.com. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and then it's verifying the domain and that's done and now in step two you can see two servers ns1 and ns2 so i'm just going to copy the first one and remember the page we left namecheap at i'm going to go there and put in the first dns server and going to do the same for the second one so ns2.bluehost.com save changes and so that essentially is telling Namecheap that my hosting is done by Bluehost and these are the servers to point my site to. Step three is choose add-on domain, which is already done for you, the default settings. Step four is to create a new directory, public underscore HTML slash Alisa Media. That's fine. So I just go ahead and assign this domain. Now, once I have done all of this, I just go scroll back up and go to domain list and essentially that's where it's gonna show me the domain that I have just bought hosting for, and there it is. So alisamedia.com, I click on this, and on the right-hand side, I have all my registration information. So Namecheap's parent company is Enom Inc., and all my registration details show up over there. So basically, after you've completed this step, you now own a domain and you now have a home for your domain, which is the web host, and it's you have a, a domain and you have hosting. So you saw how easy that was, right? So now that you actually have hosting and you have a URL that you can call your own, the next software that we're going to talk about is actually WordPress and how to get into the dashboard and maybe write your first blog post, make your first page and have something that you can show to other people. So that's what we're going to do next. All right, great. So now the next step we want to do is actually point our website to WordPress. WordPress is a content management tool and it's the tool that we're going to use to put up content on our website. So we go back to our Bluehost. If we're not logged in, we log in and we click hosting on our Bluehost account. And when we scroll down to the website section, you'll see a button for install WordPress. So go ahead and click that. It's a one-click install. All you have to do is click the green install button. It's completely free and DIY. So go ahead and do that. And while it's, uh, all right, this is the next step. It's going to ask you which domain you want to install WordPress to. And you choose the one you just installed. So I'm going to choose alisamedia.com and check domain. And it's just going to do some uh, checking. And then I hit install now. And oops, I forgot to say yes to the terms. So I do that and hit install now. And you can see up in the progress bar up there on the green, it just takes a few seconds and install is complete. Really, that's all it takes. And so then you want to view your credentials, which they're going to show you. Hit view in action. 
And then basically you get to see your username and your password, your URL, how to get into your website. So I want to go ahead and uh, select the password and copy that. And then go to the admin URL and click that and put in the username and password that they just gave me. And of course you want to change this later on. And log in, authorize Jetpack and skip the step. And there, that's it. You're in. Welcome to your new WordPress site. And go to my site, click visit site. I'm going to open that in a new window. And there you go. You can see what alisamedia.com right now looks like, which is pretty bare. So you want to go back to your dashboard and you want to go down to appearance and themes. So to change the look and feel of your site a little bit. So we click on themes and it shows us some of the pre-installed themes that come with WordPress. And I'm not really looking for that. So I'm going to add a new theme in. And these are all absolutely free. So the theme I'm going to add is called Point. And I really like it because it's a very simple blogging theme and you can use it. And it's the first result. So I go ahead and click on Install. Although you can preview it first if you like. But I'm just going to install it. And then once it's installed, I'm going to activate it. So literally just a few seconds, that's all it takes. And as soon as I've activated it, I'm going to go and customize the theme. So I hit customize and it's going to bring up the site title, which I changed from my site to Alisa Media. And uh, I'm going to change the tagline to my media blog. And then I just want to basically save that. So save and publish. And you can see in the preview that it's changed. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to go and see what the site looks like for our audience. So this is what it looks like. So it says Alisa Media on the top. And let's go ahead and write our first blog post. So you hit new post and uh, just put in title. So hi. And then just write the body text. Uh, this is my first ever <laughs> blog post on my new website. Thanks for reading. Great. Uh, so before we go ahead and publish that, let's do one more thing. Uh, let's add a picture in there. So I just put some space in there and go to add media and select a file from my hard drive. Let's choose this one. And that's it. It's loading up the file and I want to change the, the title of the file to new blog, insert into post. And there we have it. And so we can go ahead and hit publish on our first blog post. And we're going to go and see what that looks like by going to um, Elisa Media and visit site. And so we can see that our blog post is published, but there's no pictures right now showing. So uh, what we'll do is just quickly go back and edit that and make the image show as a featured image. So scroll down to featured image and just choose the picture that we uploaded and set featured image. There we go. Let's go ahead and also add a new category because uncategorized just looks really bad. So I'm going to add a blog category and uncheck uncategorized and I'm going to go ahead and update. Awesome. So that's really all it takes. And I'm just going to go and see what it looks like. Visit site. And that should be our first website up, our first blog post already written as a draft post. And you can see that it was pretty straightforward. And all you needed was Namecheap, Bluehost, and WordPress. You can go ahead and click on that first blog post to see what it looks like. And you can add content to your new website. So. There you go. Awesome. So now you've built your first website. How does it feel? Pretty good, right? And it only took you a few dollars and a few minutes to learn how to do it yourself. And always remember that it may not be perfect right now. And as a website owner, you may always feel that your website is not perfect. Remember that building a website is an iterative process. Okay, you will always be making improvements and making your website better. You're going to be hiring graphic designers. You're going to be hiring web developers eventually, or you're going to be learning how to do a lot of the stuff yourself. So your first website doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be functional. 
People should be able to come, should be able to read, should be able to know where to go next. That's the point. And um, if you are looking for tools and resources to help you along the way, to help you learn along the way, well, one of the first ones that I highly recommend is Bluehost's own support. So they offer live chat support, phone support, email support, you know, just like a lot of support. And you can actually ask them any WordPress related questions or hosting related questions that you have, and they'll get back to you and try and help you. So that's really cool. And the other resource that I would highly recommend is called wpbeginner.com. And they offer all sorts of DIY WordPress tutorials. And if you just spend a few minutes every day on the site, or if you have a specific problem and you go type that into the search query, then you will find a lot of solutions. And they also offer a paid service that you can use. You can hire them to help you tweak your website and you know do all the fancy stuff. So there you go. It's uh, pretty simple, straightforward, and hopefully by the end of this process, you will have your first website. I would love to know in the comments below the URL to the website that you developed using this video. It would just make my day. Please let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. I'm gonna send you one video every week straight to your inbox so you never miss an episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time on Content Marketing Tips. <music>